Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you all of the school supplies that I bought for my upcoming homeschooling year. So I cannot wait to share with you guys all of the homeschool supplies that I bought for our school year. <laughs> so you guys, um, in today's video, I am going to show you not only the school supplies that I bought for our upcoming school year, but I'm also going to share with you some school supplies that were definitely like keepers in my homeschooling year uh, school supplies that have been tried and true so hopefully uh, I can encourage or inspire some of you guys uh, as far as some of the school supplies that I got <laughs> so um, first and foremost I want to show you guys some of the more practical things and how I actually store them so I use these, uh, they're like $1.25 at Target. I wouldn't recommend buying these ones from the Dollar Tree because they break. So um, I got a little bit of higher quality ones from Target and I love these. I have five of them all together and I just store my basic like uh, regular school supplies that you'll get. Um, I did go shopping you guys at Target, Walmart and Dollar Tree because you know you have to shop at multiple places to find like everything you needed. Oh yeah and I also utilize Amazon for some of my bigger uh, school supply items which I'll show you too as well. So in my first bin right here this one is for my toddlers. I have a two and a four year old. I am doing like preschool and tot schooling. So I bought a few packs of these huge jumbo crayons. They do like using the regular size crayons, but these ones were just so cute. I had to grab them. And I also bought them another pack of this big Terraconda uh, pencil for them, like the first pencils with the pencil sharpener. So this right here is like their bucket that I can go to for. The next bucket that I have right here, it has all different types of markers in it. So I got um, two packages of the Mandalama um, markers, like these are thin tip markers for Brielle, who is my 10 year old. I also purchased, what is this? I have four packages of just the basic fat Crayola crayons. And then I have one of the bright colors because my daughter loves having the bright colors every school year. So. I have all of our markers in another one of these bins, so marker bin. <laughs> the next bin right here that I have is for uh, pencils. So I have two package of these Target brand uh, number two pencils, just basic pencils. I have four packages of these Mandalama color pencils. You guys do not sleep on this brand. This brand is just as good as Crayola, just to let you know. And Target does have like some of those like 20% off sales on these, as well as if you are a homeschooling mom, you can utilize the teacher's discount in Target right now. So make sure you sign up for that extra uh, discount before you go back to school shopping. So. Um, yeah, just a little tidbit in there. So um, I got four packages of color pencils. I also have some erasers in here and as you can see my daughter already dug into these. These are just eraser tops and then I have like this cute strawberry eraser that Brielle seen at the Dollar Tree and she had to get it. So I was like, okay, cool. So this right here has, or this bin right here has all of my pencils in it. My next bin that I have has just regular glue. I have my glue stick stored in another place, but this is just our regular glue. It's so crazy how much glue you go through like in a school year. So I think I bought like eight bottles of glue and trust me you guys, with preschoolers and like all the activities, uh, you will use them. I mean, I know if you have like older kids, you probably won't go through as much glue as I'm still going through right now. Um, but I definitely had to grab a lot, so yeah. Some, and this is my last bin, you guys, because I have five all together. And this one just has all of my crayons in it. So I picked up 10 boxes of crayons because I go through these like is nothing. <laughs> so I have a whole bunch of crayons. And then I also picked up two Color of the World crayons because my 10-year-old uh, Brie, she loves using these crayons. And um, yeah, so I got these. I also picked up the color pencils for her as well this school year because she wanted them. She already hit some of her school supplies off in her room because that's just Brie. <laughs> she loves like art and things like that. So um, I did pick up the color color pencils in the colors of the world set as well. So those are like my main basic school supplies and I try to keep these bins um, filled up and this lasts me like the whole school year. Now some teacher supplies I'm going to show you guys is every year I buy this huge case of HP, HP 
premium 28 pound paper. I really love using 28 pound paper because I like the grip on it and it's uh, you don't see through in the back. This whole case right here is about 50 bucks, which is a lot. However, um, I only have to buy this like every, like maybe every 14 months. So this lasts me for like over a year. So um, I bought this one, I think last year, and I still have one more like realm of paper left in here. So um, yeah, I really think it's definitely worth it. I know the price of paper has gone up, so um, I might have to, you know, go down and get like 24 pound paper instead of 28 pound paper, but just having like a case of paper, it's always good. I don't have any like curriculum that I actually print off per se, but I do like to have printer paper there. If it's like extra supplemental practice sheets or uh, different activity pages I need to copy or whatever, I just like to have that. And again, uh, that case lasts me for like a long time. So I've had this one for a minute now. Something else that I do keep to is this parcel paper or this butcher paper for my toddlers. I do like a lot of activities with them. Um, we utilize play in preschool for like most of our activities and our fun things. And um, I have to use this uh, butcher paper a lot. So I get this roll right here from um, Amazon and it's typically like $11. And I'm just able to do a lot of activities. And again, I only have to buy one of these. I think this is just my second time buying it. And I just purchased this one in July. So um, the other one that I purchased, I had it since last July. So this butcher paper lasts me for a whole year's worth of like activity. So something that's uh, um, practical for me in my homeschool at least. Something else that I have like everyone else is a whole bunch of dry erase markers. I get the thin tip ones for Brielle. She really likes these ultra fine tip ones, especially when she's doing math problems. And I have the big fat ones for Leia because we do her like morning binder work and she's starting to utilize dry erase boards um, a lot more, my four year old. So I have two different kinds. I also went ahead and I picked up these ones from the Dollar Tree, you guys, because they were like $1.25. And you know, these expo markers are pretty expensive. And if these babies work, I will start stocking up on these ones uh, instead of the expo markers, uh, if these work just as good. So I just wanted to buy a pack just to see, you know, I wanna save and cut corners <laughs> any way that I possibly can. So um, these are my expo markers. I don't think that these is gonna last me the whole year, but I got enough that it's at least gonna last us maybe like half of the year because we do use like our dry erase boards a lot. Now, as far as like notebooks and things like that, I have a lot of notebooks. And you guys, this year I splurged on my notebooks because um, we started utilizing our school nest notebook, our mathematics notebook last year when uh, we started Saxon Math. And it was such a great tool for me to be able to have this grid paper for uh, Brielle to learn how to like transfer her math problems when she was doing Saxon Math. So um, I'm gonna show you guys a clip of how like her notebook looks on the inside and how she's gotten so good with like lining up her math problems and how this helps her make fewer mistakes because she's able to clearly see her problems using the grid paper so I absolutely love these notebooks I'm going to show you guys briefly all the notebooks that I bought for this year um, I love this too because these are going to be such a great keepsake for me so here goes my big old stack right here of all the school nest notebooks and I let Brielle pick out all the colors she wanted so again I have my mathematics notebook for math we're doing Saxon math. I have her vocabulary notebook. If you guys aren't new here, you know I absolutely love this vocabulary notebook and how it's formatted for Brielle to learn vocabulary. So this one, definitely a must. I picked up just this regular fifth grade uh, notebook for her, for her to uh, utilize for uh, just any type of activities, any type of things special we wanna put in here. Maybe primarily for like English and writing, we're probably gonna use this fifth grade uh, notebook for. I have a science notebook and this one is really cool because inside of this one they have like um, all of the things for like a temperature tracker they have like the scientific method in here and this one is really really cool especially as we're diving into science we're gonna be doing space and weather this year those are gonna be like our two science units so I think Brielle's gonna really enjoy utilizing these notebooks and it's gonna be a keepsake for me because I love notebooking in my homeschool and if I can have it in a prettier way <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. Now you guys, you don't have to go out and get these uh, notebooks. You can still use like composition books because my composition books that Brie did, they look just as great. So uh, yeah, so here goes the science one. 
I also have the history notebook, which is just going to document like all the history that we're going to be doing uh, as we're going over different time periods. And then I have our big history timeline book where we are going to be documenting different time periods. And this one is just like a one time purchase because I really hope as we go throughout history, we can continue to document things on this timeline. And what's really cute about this one as well, it has a portion for them to document their own their own like childhood timeline as well. So I'm really excited you guys about like all of these school nest notebooks and on the first day of school i seen um on school nest on her instagram she showed how she decorates her notebooks on the first day of school with her kiddos so i grabbed some stickers and i don't know where i put them at stickers where are you <laughs> okay here they go i grabbed some stickers right here um so brielle can like uh really have fun enjoying like um putting some stickers on some of her notebooks especially like her fifth grade one um because i think this is going to be the one that she's going to mainly use for like all of her keepsakes writing different things like that um so yeah so i'm really really excited to utilize these again this school year so i love these school nest notebooks Along with that, you guys, I also have a school nest planner. Um, I've been holding on to this baby for a while. I didn't want to start it in the middle of our school year last year. So I'm definitely utilizing my planner from school nest. So um, yes, I'm really, really happy about that one. Now, back to some other school supplies that I have and that I purchased. I went ahead and I purchased some extra grit paper just in case we need some extra grit paper. And I also purchased two packs of notebook paper because um, I don't think we're really gonna need notebook paper because I have our uh, specific journals. But when my daughter is doing like writing and she does her rough drafts, she does like to utilize just plain notebook paper in her flex binder, uh, which is this right here. Oh my gosh, you guys, like I love these flex binders. These are from last year like look how good they still look so I love these flex binders because she just puts her notebook paper in it and when she is doing her writing assignments uh, she does like to use just regular notebook paper so um yeah notebook paper flex binders yes I love them now something else that I got was I got some more of these like dry erase sleeves. I think this is just a pack of five just because um, I really like utilizing these ones with my uh, younger toddlers. Um, it really eliminates the paper waste. I'm able just to print off one sheet that I want them to work on and we can utilize like our dry erase marker. So I just bought some extras for right now. I do have some that we're already using. Uh, so I just have these on reserve, especially because they were on sale. I think this pack was like only five bucks on Amazon. Something else that I got from um, Target was this huge two and a half inch binder. Um, this is how I document uh, and I hold on to all of like Brielle's samples of her work throughout the year. And I just use this binder uh, every single year. So this is my third binder. And um, as the year goes on, if it's special things, uh, tests, quizzes, uh, whatever the case may be, artwork, uh, any type of special writing assignments Brubri did, um, I just document it and I add it to her uh, portfolio binder. So this is going to be her new one for this upcoming school year. Something else that I did pick up for Brie, Brie is I picked her up a new sketchbook. This one came from Target and it's just this huge sketchbook because um, Brielle loves sketching and drawing. And I think it's going to be so cool for us to just have one book to keep all of her drawings throughout the whole year to kind of see like her progress. So she picked this color out and she's so excited about this one. Along with art supplies, I did um, pick up this watercolor paper as well. And I also have a few art supplies that we didn't finish up using all the way. I have some uh, watercolors and I have these pastels that I got from um, Amazon. These are just the chalk pastels right here. And these are also oil pastels. So these are like all of the main uh, art mediums that Brielle is gonna be using this year, which is gonna be primarily uh, chalk and watercolor. So hopefully she does enjoy it. We are going to be using our uh, living art lessons from Masterbooks, and these are the primary, um, I guess, mixed medium art supplies that we do need for that particular curriculum. Now, some stuff that I got from the Dollar Tree, you guys, for my younger two, I got this really cute like um, writing tablet. And hopefully uh, as Leia is learning how to write her letters and to write her names, we can like utilize this simple uh, writing manuscript tablet for her. So um, yeah, 
I also always pick up these doodling pads for my younger ones so they can doodle. As you can see, this is a used one, but I love just this plain paper for them to just draw on and doodle in the morning time. Um, this is a great way for me to keep their hands busy, especially while like I'm cooking breakfast and things like that. So I love grabbing these doodle pads from the Dollar Tree. Something else I have is just plain old construction paper. Uh, you always, or at least in my house, I always need construction paper, especially for my younger ones um, activities that they do with their uh, curriculums and things like that. So um, $1.25, you can't beat it. I definitely would recommend going to the Dollar Tree instead of using like Target or the big brand stores for uh, construction paper because it's just as good. So uh, this pack will probably last me for a good minute. Now, some of my other favorites from last homeschooling year that I still utilize is my clipboard that I get from the Dollar Tree. I love these clipboards, you guys. They are just so, they're so great. Especially if I have like a printable that I want Brie to do really, really fast. Or uh, when she is doing her Saxon test, I always print off her test um, solution sheet on here so she can uh, work on her clipboard. So clipboards, definitely a must in our household. Now, something that I never really thought that I uh, would use as much as I do are these like little key rings that I found at the Dollar Tree to poke holes on like all of like my, um, I guess like my flashcard type of things. This one right here is for Brielle for like uh, her learning like all of the metrics and things like that. So I use these little cute key rings for, I have like all of my preschoolers like flashcards on them. Uh, this is their CVC words that I hang up on the little key rings. This is the shapes for my two year old that we're going over. And I also use it for bigger things like this is how I connect my younger ones um, morning binder uh, with her dry erase sleeves with these little key ring holes. And then this is my uh, two year old's little alphabet book that I connect. So if you don't have like a binding machine or you do use like a lot of flashcards, these little simple key ring hooks are like amazing. And you get like a pack of five of them at the Dollar Tree. So that's definitely like one of the homeschool supplies that I have used like over the years. And it definitely keeps all of your like cards and things like organized. Um, a couple of more little things that I have used tried and true homeschool supplies have been like these file folds that I use on my uh, carts. I use them back here on like my bookshelf. I love these. These come in like a pack of 12 on Amazon. Um, I always grab these. Uh, they're not like the best quality. I mean, I don't think they're going to last me years and years to come, but so far they have been holding up and I love these simple file folders, especially for like organizing like my teacher's manuals, my curriculum, things like that. I love these babies. So you guys, this is like all of my homeschool supplies. Uh, <laughs> I didn't do too bad this homeschooling year. Like I said, a lot of this stuff, it really carries on uh, for a while. And I'm happy that I really figured out like the different things that we use in our household. So you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoy it and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one.